feel like there's still sand in my eyes. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. My name is Claire, and you've stumbled upon porch coffee, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Watch a Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell, I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos a few times a week, so click the like and the share. Maybe you'll like what we do around hair. <laughs> Here. Hair. Oh, wake up, wake up. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a late diagnosed autistic lady who has coffee with you on Monday mornings. Why? 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 Well, some people who are on the autism spectrum, including me, struggle to make friends and keep friends, maintain friends. Uh, I've gotten a whole lot better at it over some time, but because of that, I come on here, I have coffee with you on Monday mornings, I tell you about my week, and then you tell me about your week in the comments, and there you have it. Internet friends. <laughs> Mug club update. Two more people join the Mud Club. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. What is Mud Club? Well, to help support me and the channel, I sell these on my website, www.woodshedtheory.com. Rush out now in a buying frenzy. We have several different kinds of mugs available uh, if you're interested. No pressure. And uh, just remember that Mud Club is in our hearts, so you never have to get a mug. Uh, or feel pressured to get a mug unless you want one. Uh, so yeah, check it out down below. Gosh guys, how was your week? Mine was fine. I know I've been singing how was your week, mine was fine for a couple weeks now. It was okay. Uh, mood, okay. <sighs> Happy to be here. It was the end of May, that kind of really snuck up on me. And now we're in June. Also, that snuck up on me, too. I was writing something out the other day, and I put down that the date was going to be April. April, May, April is the new way to do the months of the year, I guess. So, yeah, June. Summer is upon us. <sighs> this year's going by very quickly. Does anyone think so? I do. It's like running by. The days are slow but the months are fast. This week we had our members only live stream uh, for the channel members. And uh, first I wanna mention, we have a, a whole group of new channel members for the month. Um, a very kind person named Barry uh, gifted 10 channel memberships. And thanks for that. Um, and I just wanted to say welcome to all of the people who had memberships gifted to them. Uh, I wanted to chat about it for a second because I'm learning more about YouTube channel memberships as we go. Uh, constantly learning, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, I've always wondered how it worked because I've never been gifted a channel membership before. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to take a quick respite. Okay, what was I saying? So yes, you could and I'm sharing this not to say do these things. I'm just interested in it. So I'm sharing and I learned it. So I'm sharing with you. I think it's interesting that you could do a super chat for $1.99. And of course that goes to me and to um, YouTube. They take a cut, right? But then you could also do gift a membership for $1.99 and that also goes to me and to YouTube. They take a cut. So I'm interesting, like, is there any difference? Because in that case, wouldn't you just want to get memberships instead of doing super chats? Um, 
I guess in the super chat you get to send a message and the other one is just it shows that you've gifted memberships. So maybe that's the difference. One gets you get to send the message, two you don't. And then I also don't know if the um the fees of YouTube are different. Um, like does YouTube take a different cut of it if you do a super chat over a membership? Are the are the YouTube fees different? Those are things I don't know yet. Um, but I, what I was fascinated by was the, um, how it allocates memberships. I was actually talking to my spouse about this <laughs> because I find it so fascinating. Because I've been trying, I guess is the wrong word. I, there are other YouTube channels that I like, I'll watch a live stream and I'm like, why do I never get gifted a membership? I'm here. And somebody just gifted a bunch of memberships on this channel. How, why is it like, am I, am I not signed up for that? Uh, so I, I think what I've learned is it's, it's pretty random. So if you did not get gifted a membership out of the 10 that got gifted, um, I guess I'm not saying I'm sorry, but, um, it's random. I've never been gifted a membership, um, on anything that I've been on. Oh, the other thing is, uh, I, I assumed that if you were on a live stream and somebody gifted memberships, it would pull from the live stream to gift memberships. That made sense to me. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case because some of you commented that, you were not at the live stream. You were just watching the replay and it, and it told you that you got a gifted membership. So we're all learning together. It's so it truly is like random. I'm assuming, I'm assuming you'd have to be subscribed, right? That makes sense. Yeah, we're learning together. So thank you for coming to my talk on this. Speaking of the members only live stream, it we had a it was fun. We were discussing that I probably need to uh, change the name of the members only live stream to like cursed live stream because I've had nothing but issues. So this was our third one that we did for May. First month we did, I couldn't see myself on the live stream. So. People could see me and see that I was streaming, but I talked to a blank screen for uh, over an hour and it was just hard for me because it was like very distracting. I even had to, I like tried to restart or refresh the live stream and it made me start a new live stream. It was a disaster. Actually, uh, a few weeks later, it happened to Orion Kelly and I'm not, I'm not happy that it happened to him but I am happy that it happened to somebody else because it made me feel like, oh, okay, it really wasn't, like it was nothing that I did. It was just a, a, a YouTube glitch. So that's, I mean, sometimes you feel like, oh, I'm doing, I must have done something wrong. No, it just happened. Then the next live stream, uh, I was like, oh, wow, okay, I can see myself. This is going great. I made sure everything was updated and ready to go, browser updated. And then, like, three minutes into the live stream, the the place where, um, on the side of the screen, where it shows the chat so that you can interact with people, it disappeared. <laughs> where did it go? I don't know. Why did it go? Uh, so then I had to, like, while I was on the chat figure out how to pull up the the stream in another um in another window so that I could see what was happening but I was like getting the view of that everyone else was seeing and I had to like turn my video off there mute it so I could still see the chat disaster okay so this time I was like all right maybe it's like goldilocks like too hot too cold just right <laughs> So this is it. This is the one. So I woke up on the day of the live stream, Thursday, 
and no power. So I ended up having to reschedule the live stream. I had pushed it two hours and actually the power didn't come on until like 10 minutes before the rescheduled live stream. I was on my way to reschedule it again when the power <laughs> came back on. Ah, <laughs> like what? And even then, like in the morning when I was trying to like problem solve, I was like, it's okay, I'll use my, my phone to um, do a hotspot and I could still do this live stream, but then the um, signal was not strong enough to make that happen. I couldn't get to the scheduled live stream from my from the YouTube app on my phone. It's it's not the same. Uh, so I would have had to like do a whole new stream and schedule it that way from my phone to do the anyway. So it it finally worked out. All of that to say, cursed. The members only live stream is cursed. Um, so if you're into spooky stuff, uh, join the channel memberships and you could come to the cursed members only live stream too. But even if it's cursed, we're just going to keep rolling with it. We, ha we have a nice time. This one, there wasn't as many people. There was still a bunch of people, but not as many because of the change. So if you couldn't come because of the change in time, I'm so sorry. It was really out of my hands, as many cursed things are. So, hopefully, fourth time is a charm that this next month goes better. Also this week, I filmed a podcast. Um, I haven't edited it yet. Usually I edit like right away, but um, I'm trying to be more balanced, so... Um, and we already had a podcast come out this past week with Gemma. Uh, if you haven't checked out the podcast that came out with Gemma from Gemma's Journey Grace, definitely check that out. We had a nice conversation. She's the first person I ever collabed with several years ago. And she came onto the podcast and we had a great time talking. Um, so go ahead and check that out. Um, I have a podcast uh, where I talk to other autistic people. Uh, and it's very originally called Autistic People Talking. <laughs> this week, I filmed another podcast with Sam from Yosemite Sam. I will uh, f officially announce that because why not? It's filmed. I just have to edit it. So that should be out soon, this week. I'm not going to give myself a date um, in case it doesn't happen like tomorrow. I'd like for it to be out on Tuesday, but... Uh, we'll see. So, yeah, that was really fun. I got to talk to Yosemite Sam. And uh, I've been watching her videos for, well, before I was diagnosed, you know. So, for me, it was kind of like a full circle moment in that way. I really enjoyed our conversation. Uh, we hadn't spoken before, just corresponded via email. And... I found that uh, we had very, uh, it seemed like we had very similar demeanors and I felt very comfortable speaking with her. So hopefully you'll enjoy our episode together. So yeah, check that out this coming week. I find her very inspiring. Uh, she's got a lot of different things going on with her on the business side. So yeah, check that out coming up. And I did another live stream on Friday of last week uh, because I went to Joanne's, the fabric store, Joanne Crafts and Fabrics and whatever. And they were having a huge sale on yarn. So I went ahead and got some and did a live stream and showed everybody. And some thrifted yarn too. Uh, but one of the major reasons I did the live stream on Friday was I was feeling a little... Like, I just needed some time hanging out with my YouTube friends. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, it's really easy to think that people who are making content on YouTube have, like, a really um, perfect life or whatever. Perfect life. That's not what I'm trying to say. 
you see people online and you think maybe they're not having a tough time because you're only seeing like one side of them. And yeah, for the past few months, as you know, I've just been kind of a bit low. And I was just feeling really low on Friday and I just, my mood was not good and feeling a bit sad and I'm trying to explain my feelings so hopefully it's working. So I decided to uh, show everyone what I got on the live stream and then also hang out with some friends. So that was really fun as well. Of course that went off without a hitch. No issues when it's a not members only live stream. It's only the members only live stream that is cursed. <laughs> What's the other thing I wanted to talk about? Oh, I think about a week and a half ago, it may be less, it may be more, uh, decided to redo our Netflix subscription. And we go through like seasons where we have it and we then seasons where we don't. Mostly because I feel like after like a month, I've watched everything I want to watch on Netflix and then it's like, why do we have this? Do you guys feel like that too? We re-upped the Netflix subscription because a bunch of things came out that we decided that we wanted to watch. Why am I telling you this? I watched the newest ep ep blah, 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 blah. I watched the newest season of The Circle. I've, I think I've watched every season now. I think this was season six. Uh, the Circle is a game show, I guess you call it, competition. It's a, a social media chat kind of game show where none of the participants actually meet each other. If you are a participant, you get your own apartment, room apartment, in this building that they've renovated. Each person gets their own apartment and you can play and you play as a profile in the circle chat room. You can choose to play as yourself. You can play as a catfish or somebody else. You're just a profile playing the game. And basically it's a game of like strategy, but also popularity. I definitely think that there's like some holes in this game, like how it's played, but it's, it's whatever, right? It's for entertainment. So who cares? Uh, but basically each episode, they rank each other off of what they know and whoever's the most popular becomes influencer, whoever, and then the influencers like vote somebody out. And then at the end, whoever gets voted the highest wins a hundred thousand dollars. Why am I telling you all of that? Sorry. Um, I've always found this show interesting because as an autistic person, social situations, social communications are, are difficult for me. And I think it's the idea of only making impressions off of what is typed, which is how I communicate better anyway, uh, is very intriguing to me. But then there's also this game aspect of it where it's all not, it's not real anyway. So any of the relationships formed or friendships formed, the strategy played, it's all on paper. I find that very interesting. It's just happening in the chat and not in person. So I find that those are easier relationships for me to have in real life, not on the game show. So I find that interesting. So I like watching it. But why am I bringing this up? For the first time ever, there was an AI player that they put into the game to like mix things up. They only had it for like an episode and a half, which I thought was a waste. I'm bringing this up because for the first time since they had the show, I was like, oh, okay, I feel more like the AI player than any of the other players. Because the other players, they have like these different strategies and things that they're saying. And the AI player is the most even keeled um, player and has the best strategies, obviously, because it's a computer, right? But has the best strategies, plays 
was playing the best game. It totally fooled the other players. When they announced who the AI player was, they were shocked. They really thought this person was real. And it just made me feel like, oh, okay, how interesting that I relate more to this robot than I relate to to the other players. Like, I think that this robot's playing the best game and the most logical game to me. Because a lot of times I'll watch other players play the game and I'm like, no, what are you doing? That doesn't seem right. I feel like I'm doing a terrible job at explaining this. I'm just trying to tell you that they had an AI player in the game and it reminded me of an autistic person because it was very <laughs> logical and everything that they did made sense and maybe I'll cut out this whole story because it's stupid. <laughs> maybe I'm just telling you because it really tickled me that um, out of all the players over six seasons, the one I felt most aligned with was the robot. So yeah, I guess it just makes me think I should move to the planet Vulcan or something. <laughs> so that was my week, guys. Yarn, YouTube, quiet. The only other thing that happened was I, I was invited out. Um, and I just, I've been feeling blue and I've been feeling overwhelmed and I've been feeling like I needed some space. So I declined the invitation, which is kind of big for me because I've struggled in the past to do things like that, to, um, put my mental health, my well-being first. So I guess that was kind of a big deal for me. It's really hard for me when I get invited out with friends to say no because friendships are really important to me and I I take them seriously because I, I, it's like a newer thing for me. So it's hard for me to say no, but then I'm also proud of myself for like putting my mental health first because I've been feeling like if I push myself too hard I'm really gonna burn myself out so even though it's nice to be invited and I want to go to things I also have to put my needs first yeah so that I'll be able to be a better friend in the long run and keep making YouTube videos etc that's it. That's how my week went. I'm so glad that you came and um, had a chat with me. Um, I'd love to know in the comments how your week went. How, how are things going in this lovely June that we're having so far. I hope that you have a wonderful week. And uh, yeah, watch out for the podcast that's coming out. Watch out. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being my internet friends. Nice to see you.